Hi, I'm Eric Slack with the Evaluator Group. You know, the cloud has become an option for a lot of companies. It's a, a viable alternative for running a range of applications. The decision to use the cloud can be like the decision to outsource in a lot of ways. Seems pretty straightforward. But how do you make that decision? Well, it usually starts with economics, which often means a TCO, or Total Cost of Ownership Analysis. TCO is a process that helps uncover what the true costs are for a product or service, including the invisible costs, not just the sticker price. For a lot of companies, the cloud does make sense, economic and otherwise. This leads to what we call the cloud assumption. You know, given the cost and complexity of traditional on-site infrastructure, it's easy to assume that the cloud will save you money. But what about hyper-converged? Is the cloud assumption valid when we're talking about hyper-converged infrastructure or HCI? That's what we wanted to look at using a TCO model comparing the cloud with on-site infrastructure, specifically a hyper-converged appliance from HPE SimpliVity. For this model, we compared the total cost of supporting just over 200 VMs on HPE SimpliVity with the cost of running the same number of VMs in AWS. For HPE SimpliVity, this was an N plus one cluster that included a redundant node for high availability, plus the cost of labor and facilities overhead. For AWS, we chose their three-year all upfront reserve pricing and amortized these upfront fees over 36 months. Um, this was the lowest cost option for AWS services and the one that most closely resembled a traditional infrastructure purchase. For AWS, the total monthly cost for our 206 VMs was just under $53 per VM. The total cost for 206 VMs on HPE SimpliVity was about 10% less, or $47.50 per VM. Not a huge difference, but it does mean the basic cloud assumptions in error. And when we scaled the infrastructure, as usually happens in the real world, the numbers changed. When we expand the cluster to support more VMs, the AWS costs stay roughly the same, but the cost for on-site infrastructure, the HPE SimpliVity cluster, drops significantly. By the time we get to a 515 VM setup, the cost differential is dramatic. At this level, the HPE SimpliVity solution is 27% less than AWS's lowest all upfront price and 55% less than the AWS on-demand price. Not only is the cloud assumption wrong, the cloud is not less expensive at any pricing level, but it's really inaccurate as you grow. For a typical company, that cost differential can add up. We're talking $800,000 or more over a three-year lifespan. So why is the hyperconverged solution lower? Well, with HCI, you're buying less gear than with traditional infrastructure. By combining the server and storage functions into the same box, we eliminate hardware, we eliminate complexity and integration, and we save a lot of money. On the OPEX side, HCIs are designed to be easy to use all the way around. Hyperconverged technologies really change the game from a cost perspective. Specifically, the design process, it's a few configuration steps. Installation, less than an hour. They're easy to use, reducing management tasks to the VM level. Operational costs are lower, and scaling is simple and non-disruptive. You just add nodes. Okay, so what do we learn? Well, the cloud assumption is obsolete. Compared with a hyperconverged solution, the cloud doesn't cost less, and the economics of HCI just get better as you scale. Which is a good thing, since these clustered systems are designed to scale easily and in manageable increments. These really are pay-as-you-grow solutions. The cloud is a good option for many use cases, but its economics are not a given. As we show in this TCO model, the cloud costs more than a comparable hyper-converged infrastructure, like HPE SimpliVity. I'm Eric Slack with the Evaluator Group. We'll see you next time.